Welcome, welcome to Tight Ten on Titan, episode four. Episode four, this, can you believe it? I know. I know. Four in a row, <laughs> I, can, thought, I, can see, I can see you're overwhelmed. The same place. Four times <laughs> in a row. <laughs> like, we just, I mean, in episode three, we just got into the Citadel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, just, just as a frame of reference for anyone that's, that, that, that's not been watching. Um, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, we, we've gone back to the countdown because we, 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 we've moved We've moved to another kind of streaming service that's, that, that's, that's supporting us. And uh, you and McPherson that created our re-beginning sequence last week hasn't transferred, it transferred it over. So so that's why we were back to the countdown. But I don't know, I don't know about you, Chris, but see when I got to have like eleven, ten of the countdown, I suddenly cut out. And it, it happened every time. I just kind of went, why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah, we could have just started. <laughs> exactly. It was <laughs> even that I just mean in general. I just mean in general, why, why am I doing this? Why 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 <laughs> give anyone any information? <laughs> <laughs> mm, to be so fair. Anyway, before before we kick off with where we where where we are, just just so we can get some viewers on stuff. What's your rum of choice this week? Oh, my rum of choice this week is actually where did I put my, <coughs> my rum of choice this week is the same as last week. It's lambs. In fact, it is the very same bottle. I don't know if the fact that I've got a different bottle every week is is maybe a sign of. Just, I've got old school this week. I'm I'm an old Captain Morgan. Do you know what? I haven't had a cup of Morgans in a long time. And I'm My daughter believes that this is hers. That's the problem. <laughs> she ever Morgan. becomes the captain. Her name's Morgan, absolutely. She's the captain. Also, uh, it says promotional price £14.79 on it. Uh, I, I, the corner shop I got is from, I don't know if it's the same stock, but it's never not been. It's, uh, <laughs> this, is, this promotion's longer than the DFS sale. <laughs> yeah, I, since the dawn of time. Since the beginning, since since that Rum existed, me. it's that been available be. at a promotional price of fourteen pound seventy nine. <laughs> oh, it worked really well. Yeah, was... right, you know, up... that, by the way, I spent that entire countdown trying to find my card. <laughs> 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 Got it though. Excellent. Yeah, I'm all, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all good to go. Uh, I've been uh, basically, basically, I'm set for the next episode as soon as the last episode ends. I'm just psyched for it, just kind of going, right, right, we know what we need to do. Just kind of go. Uh, and I remember after the second episode, somebody moved my dice, and I knew where everything I was. Remember. Somebody moved my dice, and I freaked. I was like, where's my dice? They're not even I my dice. I sat down, and you were just like, ah, oh, I can't believe I've lost my fucking dice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Freaking out, running about the house. Going, They're not even my dice. I stole them from my kids. <laughs> it is Ludo, wasn't it? I stole it from their Ludo dice. Looted Ludo. Looted Ludo dice. Uh, but they're not getting it back, so. No, not a chance. Absolutely. No chance in hell. So anyway, I'll, I'll give I'll give our I'll give our watchers uh, uh we've given them we've given them a good few minutes to, to kind of come in and hopefully hopefully uh somebody's um, there. But you can hear like, the you can hear the jukebox for the cash register in this place. It's pure hive <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give I'll give anyone we, we've also I've also uh as an aside now uh I've got it so that it'll stay on it'll stay on the Twitch stream for 14 days after we've 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 we've, we've uh streamed so oh, okay so we'll have a I, I can't I've, I've said stream yard I've I've talked about the fact that we're, we're streaming live now and then I couldn't remember the word well, what I was saying, we'll, we'll, we'll stay on. We'll stay on for fourteen days after we've. What's the word that begins with this? After we've streamed, right? So this will be available for the next two weeks, so we can point people in the direction of it too. And I'm also, I will also upload it to YouTube. I'm also uh, looking to potentially move, uh, have it streaming simultaneously, either on YouTube or and or Facebook. So, so what is this? Space, good, right? uh, good idea. So 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 anyway, that's it. Feels like we're doing admin when we should be questing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just about to say, I'd be like, yeah. Do you not think this is best left for off the screen? <laughs> we just not yeah. At all. This is we for the tight head and tight and irony comes in. It's just kind of going. <laughs> we'll talk about what we want in the files. 
I'll, 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 give, I'll give anybody that's watching the, 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 the story so far. The recap. Uh, I won't give you the whole story so far. We'll be here all day. But we ended, we ended on a cliffhanger last week, and you, you basically had the option. You were at a door. You were at a door uh, that was opening into a hallway. Uh, and some distance along the passageway, it turns right in shortly at another door. On the door, there was a sign that says, please ring for butler. And there was a rope, which was evidently a bell hanging by the door. And you were given the option to rig as instructed or to try the door handle. Now, we decided to try something new last week. And you made your decision yeah. rather than hanging on it. I like for, that. Hence the cliffhanger. And your decision, your decision was to ring the bell for the butler. Yeah, we wanted to find out if there was a badger butler. We, we, we're, 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 we're hoping there is. And that's why this week's episode of Titan and Titan is called... You rang my lord. <laughs> you rang my lord. lord. No, no, it's even better to lurch. You rang. You rang. <laughs> well, let's find out if we've got a lurch when we ring the bell. You up for it? Mm-hmm. Let's ding do it. this. Ring a ding ding. Let's, let's get it on, right? Your ring is instructed. <laughs> my ring is instructed. So, so as I had said on Facebook that we ended in a cliffhanger and, and of course our cliffhanger was do you ring a bell or not? <laughs> Which maybe isn't the most exciting cliffhanger that we've ever had considering the week before you're about to get torn limb from limb by a big monster rhino. Yeah, but we showed that rhino who's boss. You did show that rhino. So so I mean, how embarrassing would it be if you, <laughs> if you had actually survived the rhino and now you're going to get kicked to death by a butler? <laughs> I think the butler will help. <laughs> the butler will help. After several moments, oh. the door opened slowly, and a hunchbacked, misshapen creature with rotten teeth, ragged hair, and tattered clothes stands in front. I'll actually start to take offence to this description. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, a, a, a hunchback misshapen creature with rotten teeth, ragged hair, and tattered clothes stands in front of you. Here he is. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's him. Gee, is he? He looks like he's Milton. He looks kind of he looks kind of zombieish, doesn't he? <laughs> I bet he doesn't. I bet he doesn't smell good. He probably doesn't. Do you know, it's hard to get good help these days. <laughs> he's not even a hunchback. He's just got a, a big trash bag under his coat. He does, exactly. He's just carrying it out. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 now going to, I'm now going to do my impression of the butler because... Oh, please do. Like, there's a line of dialogue here. And and and, 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 and I don't... Do you know what? I, I feel like I'm suddenly on the spot. Should I go for something filled with malevolent glee? Or should I do okay? Uh, I don't know. It's got let's to be find out together. Yeah, let's find out together. I might just do my own voice. Oh, you can't do your own voice. That's definitely a cop out. Yes, sir. No, I'm only joking. I would that would be rough. I, I could I could read it like I could read it like a like a primary five school kid that's got to do a book report. <laughs> After several moments, the door opened slowly and a hump hump. Hun, 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 I can't read this word. Jesus, nothing worse than hearing kids read poetry. That's the oh, that's my least favorite thing. Ba da 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 And then you have to clap afterwards. That's the worst part. You go, you don't deserve this clap. I'm only giving you a half clap. Yeah, 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 years ago, years ago, I was, uh, years ago, I was at a church service, right? We won't go into any detail about that, right? Uh, irrespective of kind of religious denomination, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't my kind of, it wasn't where I wanted to be on a Sunday morning, but I was at a church service and it was, yeah. the, the, and it must, I think it might have been the run up to Christmas and they had some kids playing musical instruments and there was one kid that was doing a violin solo. So, so I sat there and the kid just goes, and the place was entirely silent and I just went <laughs> <laughs> oh the explosion that's my favourite one yeah. oh, and then I just went 
So it, <laughs> just just going to Burger King. Just going to Burger King, get a burger and drink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, just fucking ten minutes in. Ten minutes in, and the, hun- the hunchback butler's open the door. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's my butler voice. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> Growls the half human creature. And now I'm going to do an impression of Harry Slaughter because Harry Slaughter's got dialogue. Go for it. Then. I'm not going to do an impression of you, Chris. I'm going to do an impression of Harry Slaughter just in case you're just. I'm not... No, no, I know. I am expected, you reply, and you walk past through the door with confidence. I did a kind of camp flourish there. Oh, yeah, think... That's the move that I have to make. That's fucking badass. It's I am like, expected. I'm expected. I mean, I'm a herbalist. <laughs> you reply, walk past him through the door with confidence. He's a little bewildered by your manner and stammers, not knowing whether to challenge or not. Which way to the reception room, you demand? He squints at you through one eye and motions towards a left fork in the passageway a short distance ahead. Do you believe him and take the left fork or do you distrust this shifty little bastard and take the right fork? He is a shifty looking bastard. I'll yeah. admit that. So you either trust him and go left or don't trust him and go right. I mean, you can also not trust him and go left anyway, but, but let's just keep it simple. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just keep it to left and right. Well, let's think about this. Why? What? I mean, I said I'm expected, and he seems like he might be a sniveling, subservient little shit. So yeah. maybe if I come in with all my, you know, I'm expected. Show me the way to the reception room, bitch. He'll be like, that's how he's used to being treated. So he's like, okay, <laughs> you sound like you belong here. Good logic. Yeah, I mean, or it could be that he just likes telling lies. <laughs> Yeah, Doesn't maybe he also... yeah, like pisses live on soup. <laughs> when you're in, <laughs> yeah. like yeah, while, you're, while you're eating that, it looks like bits of them would drop off into your soup. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I didn't order the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a meaty cigar. Uh, I think. Well, is there anyone in chat? I mean, I know the answer is no, but... The answer is no. There are currently no chats. That's fine. In that case, I think I'm going to go... <laughs> Thank you, Doc. There you go. Life, your comments, shop and stream yard. This is an example. It does you no good. <laughs> we'll just flash up every now and again to entice people into comment. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 can, I, I can say left <laughs> and, 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 and just, just put it up. Oh, I see we've got a comment from John Carruthers that says to go left. Okay, John, I'm going to trust you. Or, I mean... John can't make his mind up here. This is ridiculous, John. I'm in a real I'm in a real bind here, man. This is life or death. Do I trust this shifty little... Like... <laughs> okay, that means left. Let's go left. We're going left. Let's do it. <laughs> so you believe in him? You believe in a shady little bastard? Yeah, I guess. I think that he he knows his place. You die! The yet no, I don't. (laughs) For no explicit, explicable reason. (laughs) You go down half a flight of stairs and around a corner, he jumps. He jumps from above (laughs) and attacks you. And lands in your head. (laughs) The passage runs along for several metres and then ends at a door. You listen at the door and you can hear a deep, he- heavy breathing coming from inside. <sighs> As if some large creature was asleep in there. I wish I'd read that bit then I'd have made it sound like a snore. Really? I felt a little too early. <sighs> Cautiously, you try the handle and the door opens. <clears throat> Just inside, through the room, is dark and you can see that a very large goblin-like creature is asleep in the floor. You can either risk tiptoeing into the room or you can return to the fork and go the right hand passage all the while going, fuck that. So we found an asleep goblin. An asleep goblin. Let's creep up to him. You got to creep up to him? Oh, yeah. 
Sleepy Goblin's the best goblin. <laughs> Not uh, drunk. A drunk goblin's the best goblin. goblin. <laughs> I'll take any goblin. <laughs> There's a picture. There's a picture of the goblin. Is it a picture of what I've done to him? No. <laughs> you tiptoe into the room. The room is gloomy and the air is damp. A crude wooden post is nailed to one wall with several hooks on it. There are two doors in the far wall leading onwards. On the post hanging in the wall is a makeshift mirror. But as your torch lights up the mirror, its reflection is thrown across the eyes of the sleeping giant who grunts and stirs. One eye opens, then another, and seeing you, it springs to its feet. It grabs an axe, which it uses as a pillow, and quickly undoes the leather sheath to reveal a large bronze head. This giant creature is a gark. A gark? Is obvious, a gark, which is obviously what they had to use because they couldn't get the rights to use the word orc. Yeah, it's a gark. I'm a gark. But it explains what a gark is here. So I might, I might, I might Yeah. Oh, let's that. take a little, a little encyclopedia break, a lore break. <laughs> what is a gark? A gark is a large and brute, large and brutish gark, or half goblin and half giant. And here he is here. See, you see, right? Hold on a second. I've got, I've got a bone to pick with the way this book was written already. So, it said there was a goblin-like creature. <laughs> yeah, I said that was going to be that's me. It didn't tell me that it was half giant. Like it didn't. That's right at the outset. That's going to. We're looking at the gloom. I was picturing a little fucking dog size thing. Oh. Do you know what my plan was, right? And I know I can't do this. And al <laughs> also, the hooks in here. Like, am I going to get butcher hooked? And if I don't, can I butcher hook him? They're, they're, they're not really butcher hooks, they're like hooks that you put stuff on. There they are there. It's more, more, more like... I'll butcher, hook him on, I'll, I'll butcher hook him on them anyway. You, you could hang your jacket up. But my plan was, right, which is sort of... Uh, my plan was to do loud stealth. So I was going to creep into the room, so I was like positioned at the top, so I was over his head, and then I was going to raise my, my sword above my head and then I was going to scream really, 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 really loud to wake him up. And then I was going to bash his skull in. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you stupidly woke him up with your torch. What's the fucking large and British darks are half goblin, half giant, and they were bred by master sorcerers for their aggressive character. Not unlike what Saruman did with the Uruk High orcs. Yeah. Do you know? Oh, do you know oh, no, no. It's funny you should bring that up. I was actually playing a Lord of the Rings game yesterday where you get to take control of Uruk High. It's pretty cool. So I, I, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that this is like a, a non trademarked bit. <laughs> anyway, although they're somewhat stupid, they are rather tough beasts with a warlike nature. And you've got some choices. Oh. You can make a dash for the doors, you can draw your sword ready for a fight. <laughs> Against the half giant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that you didn't even know it was a giant. I said, "Go! You can apologize for disturbing the creature, or you can prepare <laughs> to use a spell." Do you know? I have made in the first three weeks of this a precedent of always going for the sword first. You know, shoot first, think never. But this time, I think I'm going to turn and run. And you're making a dash. I think I think you're making a dash for the doors that he's in front of. Oh, then I'm gonna cast. Then you give me the option to turn around and bugger off back. So you either try and run past him or you apologize for disturbing his sleep, draw a sword or prepare to use a spell. But remember, they are stupid. Spell. I'll just remind you that. Yeah, well that that's what I'm going for with the spell. Definitely. If I can trick him, I can trick him. If I can't. I can't beat him with a sword. He's going to snap it in half and then snap me in half. He's going to maybe, snap me like a wet fag. Just maybe, he'll, maybe, he'll be too maybe he'll be too stupid to stop you from dashing for the doors or maybe he'll be too stupid to, to not accept your apology. You never know. Maybe, maybe he'll be too stupid to remember to breathe in and out. I mean, we can try and wait for that if you want. <laughs> 
Right, what's my spell of choices? And also, I'm going to try and find something that I have put down, but read them out to me. Right, well, do you want, you do you want to... I think, I think, I don't know if your camera froze there or if you were just holding really, really still. Possibly <laughs> both. If, if you were holding still, then you're like a chameleon. There's only a certain amount of the spells that you have. That you, there's only... There's only one spell you've got that you can use here. And what's, what is it? And if you don't use it, you've already wasted time and you have to fight them. <laughs> so, what is the spell? Uh, the spell is an ESP spell. Of which I only have one. Yep. Oh, do I want to shoot my only... I mean, when you think about it, if there ever was a reason to use that, it would be against the half-giant that you've just woken up, wouldn't it? I, I suppose so. Well, in that case... ESP me up, baby. Let's do this. Let's fly him to the moon. ESP's gone. Let's see what happens. Can't help but think this is a mistake. <laughs> see him. <laughs> well, do that or fight him straight on. And fight him straight on <laughs> doesn't sound very promising. As the spell takes effect, you begin to get various thoughts as they flash through the creature's mind. Apart from a feeling of fear that its captain might find out that it was asleep at his post and let an intruder in, it holds some strange reverence for a carved hairbrush which is apparently in the room somewhere. But this is all you receive, and you must now defend yourself from its attack with something. You've got the choice of another three spells or use your sword. Unfortunately, you don't have any of the three spells, so you're in a fight, mate. Can I um, just ask, what were the other three spells? Fool's Gold, Creature Copy, or Weakness. It so would have fall fallen for Fool's Gold. All right. Probably. Harry Slaughter, once again, tries to square up to this orc, pulls out his large sword, realizes it might not be big enough for the orc, Gets right up to his chin and goes, square go, big man. Square go. Right, let's do this. It's fighting time. You have to resolve your battle with the creature. The Gark. I'll resolve, I'll resolve his arsehole. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that's an option. That's a, <laughs> that, that could have saved you using a spell. It'll be his arsehole or his lung that collapses. <laughs> the Gark. <laughs> the Gark the, is the a skeleton. The Gark guy. The, 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 I'm amazed I'll just call it the Yurik I mean, well, I'll, we'll have the guy that wrote this, Admiral of the Estate of J.R.R. Tolkien, breathing down our neck before episode <laughs> five. The Gark. You have a skill of 11 and a stamina of 15. The Gark has a skill of 7 and a stamina of 11. How have I got more stamina than a Gark? <laughs> I never thought I would be asked that question. <laughs> this, Gark's, this Gark's weaker than me. That makes no sense. So basically you've got an advantage of 4 on any dice rolls. So that's not okay. too bad. Not as good as previous ones. No, we'd have the advantage in, in the old one. Yeah, well, an advantage with the rhino. So let's do this, eh? Right. We'll roll first for you, and then we'll roll for the gark. Oh, no, we roll first for the monster, don't we? So we roll yeah. first for the gark. So he he had seven on ten of them we've got here. It's exciting okay. times. He's got seven here, so that's 14. So the gark's attack strength is 14. So you basically with two rolls need to get need to get three or more. I think you'll be all right. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Chances of that are pretty good. You got four, that was close. <laughs> yes. So he's down to nine. This is exciting. Yeah, I know. Can you do some like like 
go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should get go. music, actually. Come to think of it, we should get music for battles. We should, instead of just hearing the kind of tinkling of ivory off each other. <laughs> just be right, okay, Gark, the Gark is the Gark is four plus seven at eleven. You can't lose this one. He's down to seven. I'm not gonna <laughs> roll it for you. I'm trying to rattle through this. We need to agree on a tune and it's not gonna work. What? We need to agree on a tune and it's not gonna work. It just sounds like a disharmony. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fight with the guard was about. It's just kind of going, no, 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 right, you need to do this. <laughs> bo, bo, bo. <laughs> I've just lost my dice. Oh. <laughs> right, he rolled four again, which means you can't lose. That's his down to five. You're, you're rattling this guy. Absolutely. You need to reconsider spells because every time you've used a spell, it's been useless. I'm bending him over and I'm tapping his cheeks. Oh, this one's eleven. So you need to get seven. You need to get seven or more. You get seven on the money, so that's a ching off each other. You nobody hurt. Nobody hurt. Exciting. I'm going to make a necklace out of the guy's fingers. So you need to get four or more here. Yo, if I kill him, can I eat him? You, you'll have to eat him. You, <laughs> you, you just got ten, so you absolutely rattled him again. He's got three you'll stamina have, have points left. Because garks are considered a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> considered a delicacy in this part of the world. This part of Titan. Why do you think they have to hold up in the citadel? They're being protected. <laughs> a, you're just killing a protected species. I'm just, I'm just ravenous. I can't help it. <laughs> it, it it's, it's as good as the eating that you get on a goblin, except bigger. By the way, can I just say, anyone that's watching this, the perspective must be pretty funny because it's my massive head taking up most of the screen, and then your wee head just I'm right. tiny head. Hello. Just wrote, I, 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 I just wrote a seven for him, so you need to get three or more. Oh, you got a seven, right? One more hit, and he's dead. One more hit, you've killed this poor tasty gark. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make some gark pops, <laughs> popcorn garks, gark tacos <laughs> with gargamole. <laughs> eight, eight plus seven, five. You need to get four or more. You haven't lost a battle yet. I don't think anyone's even hit you in a battle. Sure, I told you, Harry Slaughter, he's here to do business. Absolutely. You rolled a six, so you killed him. You killed him. You killed that gark. Did I even take damage? You took no damage. Garks. Oh, my God. I can't believe I was scared of this dude. Can I scalp him? Keep the scalp. Do you know, yeah... Uh, yeah, I should have read further on. After four attacks, you could have actually done a runner. But you didn't need to. That wasn't a problem. Nope. Don't need to run for the After four rounds, you could, have, you could have tried to run for the door. But, you know, I think you'll find it's actually the Garks that run for me. Absolutely. I don't think you would have done it, but I should have at least given you the option. The great <laughs> Gark lies dead on the ground with a big chunk missing from his thigh. From you, oh, yeah. with your you can't nice. eat a bit of gark. <laughs> uh, the great gark lies down the floor. You wait for a minute to see whether the commotion will attract any guards, but all appears to be safe. You go through the creature's effects, but find little of value. Inside a pouch strung around its waist are six gold pieces and an ornate hairbrush. Wow. You can take the hairbrush and the gold pieces if you desire. Oh, of course. I'm going to lift them up. You think I'm going to leave an ornate hairbrush just sitting here? Harry Slaughter's got a glorious Conan the Barbarian mane. He's got to keep that shit polished. I, I'd like to brush my hair. Ornate hairbrush is now in your inventory after a wee quick brush, and you now have six gold pieces. I'm a wealthy, wealthy man. Exciting times. So you won't need your fool's gold spell that you didn't take. 
<laughs> I wish it did. How about that fight would have been over a lot quicker? You didn't need it. So you move, you move on through the door on the other side. You can either take the left-handed door or the right-handed door. What does that mean? You have to open it with your left hand and open it with your right hand. <laughs> well, I just realised I went left hand, the right hand, not left-handed, or right-handed. <laughs> so the handles on the left. <laughs> Okay, well, we went left. So, yeah, last you time, can so. use the door in the left or door in the right. I think I want to use the door on the right because we went left last time. Oh, just then from John. John's saying I need to go left. Oh, okay. John's. Right, so you're going, yeah, are you going to go left? John. Are you going to go right because you went left last time? I think I'm going to go right. Okay, let's do this. The door opens into a short passageway which is paved with small stones. A short distance further on, an ornately carved door from the people that brought you an ornate hairbrush. <laughs> 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 You made me snarf. <laughs> <laughs> does, 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 does he have it in his contract? He has to write or date every so often. Other other doors and hairbrushes are available. <laughs> other door, other door and hairbrush types. Uh, an early, an ornately carved door marks the end of the passageway. <laughs> Just before the door, a side passage leads off to the left. You approach the door and you listen for any signs of life inside. As your hand touches a handle. A voice says, do not knock, just enter. <laughs> From inside. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what. Do not knock, just enter. I'm changing, come in. Well, yeah, I know. It's just how someone going, well, yeah, well, you enter the room as instructed, or you decide against this room and take the passage leading off to the left. This uh, maybe sets a bad a bad um, trend, but I'm going to once again do what I'm told. Some man. So anyway, do not knock, just enter. So you decide to enter. Yeah, I need to just enter. I'm just worried now that my impression has totally given you the wrong vibe from what this guy is, just like I did with the goblin. I think you're making them sound too friendly. Yep. I think I might have hit the nail on the head with this one, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. You enter a room which is evidently a library of some sorts. Books oh. stretch from ceiling to floor to each wall, and several tables and chairs are lined down the centre of the room. At the far end sits a dark-skinned man who looks up from a book over narrow eyeglasses. Behind him is a door. Yes, what is it? He snaps. <laughs> which book are you looking for? You scan the various shelves, which are labelled. Well, you ask him for the following books. So here's your choices. Biographies of Balthus Dyer, who is the guy who is the evil oh, guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's the head honcho, the big, the, the, the big bad evil guy. The, the main man. Or Secrets of the Black Tower. Or Creatures <laughs> of the Kingdom of Crag and Rock. <laughs> So All of those were really good to see in a Scottish accent, I have to say. <laughs> Crag and Rock. Crag and Rock. <laughs> the secrets of good. Craggle Rock. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. So, hold on. What was what was the room we were in before? This one. Like, what would you... This is a library. We went through a stone path. We were in a door with a guard sleeping in it. So was he guarding the library, or was he just sleeping on his shift? He was just sleeping on his shift. Hmm. Weird. He I, was I wouldn't guarding. have the guard room next to the library. Maybe that's where the other door was. <laughs> was Wait, so hold on. Let me, let me try and understand these choices then. So first off, we've got basically a hint about, about the big man. Maybe, yep. maybe something we can use later. Yep. Next, we've got Secrets, Secrets of, of the Black, Black Tower. I don't even know what that is. I, I, I assume it's some place in the Citadel. It'd be rubbish if it was like completely unrelated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> it was, oh geez. So that doesn't sound very useful unless we encounter the black tar, which we don't know we're going to encounter. We could sidestep that for all we know. So there's also the one about animals that's probably going to help in a fight. You know, like tell me to squeeze a wolf's balls or something, and that's yeah. like a secret. When in doubt, even if you're not but, fighting the wolf, if you're fighting somebody else and a wolf walks past, just squeeze its balls. For <laughs> luck. The first one, it's got to be right. I mean, yeah, I would think you, so. You you got you got to get intel on the big guy. I don't want to walk in there and not know that he's got like shoulder mounted fuck guns. As soon as I go in, I get fucked up. I I, I got to know secrets. <laughs> be really weird though if he kept kept a book in his own library about how to defeat him. Well, I mean that might be what's happening here. Maybe he's bought up all the copies. Maybe he's bought all the them. He's bought he's bought up all the copies. <laughs> so that nobody else knows. You need to get into the citadel. So we're Why going for the biography then. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Well, that's it's got to be that one. He points to a section just above the floor, which you peruse. You know that's really cool one. Eventually, you choose one volume and settle down to read through it. Who knew that this quest would end up with you sitting reading a book? With my giant... I like to imagine I'm dressed like Conan. I've just got a pair of blue a pair of blue pants on and the rest of me is just... <laughs> I just got a go, small set of reading glasses that you just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, pulls them out of his, he pulls them out of his trunks. Just takes them <laughs> out and picks them on. Just places them. Places them on. Like that, he's like that. This is him reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> and then if anybody makes a noise, he goes, shh. He goes, no, he doesn't go shh. He goes, <laughs> and stares at me. <laughs> he's like, passive aggressively. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. This is what you discover. Balthus Dyer is apparently the third in line of sorcerer warlords ruling over the Black Tower and the Kingdom of Crag and Rock. So clearly, I mean, all three of those books would have probably been handy in their own way. So he the rose Black to Tower, power wait, after wait, the death. So the Black Tower is basically Parliament? Yeah. Okay. He rose to power after the death of his father, Crag and Dyer, some years ago. <laughs> Did he die on the crag by any chance? He did. Uh, <laughs> just these guys must have get bullied in school. That's why they're so nasty. Oh, yeah, Balthish! Like, of course, they were going to turn out like that. Absolutely. Shit. The Dyers have been masters of black sorcery for generations, but their strength and power last during the night time only. Sunlight is like a poison to them. Ooh. Just got, right, well, that would explain why Danny Dyer worked in the pub when he was in East Enders because he couldn't go outside. He couldn't go outside in the daylight. So they're like vampires then. The sun. Uh, the, it looks like they share some qualities. The Dyers have been masters of black sorcery for generations, but their strength and power last during the night time only. Sunlight is like a poison to them. I'll just say that again, just in case, because I think that might be important. Yeah, Shortly probably. after his father's death, Balthus Dyer married the Lady Lucretia, herself a black sorceress. And since that time, they've ruled together over the kingdom of Crag and Rock. As you finish the book, bloody hell, speed reading. <laughs> you notice know, the, the librarian is holding his hand to his ear, apparently listening to something. He glances up at you quizzically. You can either look for another useful book which may aid in your quest, or attempt to leave the library through the door behind him. So he's he's like he's coming up. He's like, "You gonna pay for that?" Well, he's listening to something. He's holding his hand to his ear as if he's listening to something. And mobile phones don't exist, so I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Once again, I. I Give me the book on the Black Tower. 
Well, it, it's not even giving you the options of book. It says, do you want to look for another book first? So, I mean, there might be even more options. So, so we'll have a look for another book. Uh, and let, uh, uh, no, nobody else is commenting. So, so we're going to, we're going to, apart from, I don't, I don't know if this will help, but. <laughs> but you, do you want to, do you want, do you want to have a look for another book? Yeah, we have to. Okay. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll, you know, uh, I've set a precedent over the last few weeks, and I'll probably continue if there's a risk to be taken. I'll probably take it. I'll take it. Yeah, just kind of your risk is picking up another book. Mm. As you study the shelves, you hear a commotion behind you. You wheel round and tend to see orc like creatures. There you go. They use the word orc. It didn't say you're a Kai, though. Uh, yeah, it said orc like creatures. So, so, so they're not allowed to tell you that they're orcs, but they're allowed to tell you that they resemble orcs. It's and like a weird it's kind of crab flavored sticks because there's no crab. <laughs> that's it. They're orc flavored. Orc flavored creatures. <laughs> they're orc flavored. Materializing one after another behind you, they advance and surround you. The tallest one moves his face closer to yours and blows a puff of breath straight into your eyes. <sighs> The room spins and you slump to the ground, unconscious. Which is better than them just killing you. Oh. To be oh. fair. That's what you get for reading. Where did reading ever get you? Fucking, this, uh, this confirms what Harry Slaughter has always believed, which is <laughs> books, are, books are for fucking nerds. Books, books make... Books uh, make you more intelligent, and being intelligent gives you more power, and power corrupts. So books so are evil. Knowledge is corruption. Yep. You wake up in a dirty room with rough walls cut into the rock, iron bars in the window and the door confirm your suspicions that you're in a prison cell of some sort. <laughs> it took me a while, though. Exactly. He's not the smartest, is he? That's why he's uncorruptible. <laughs> there is not much you can do but sit the straw mattress in one corner until someone appears an hour or so later you hear a shuffling noise outside looking through the bars of the door you can see a lizard like creature shuffling down the corridor carrying a mug and bowl the beast has two heads which talk to each other as he walks his skin is grey and scaly and a long tail follows up the passage here's a picture of it here Oh, he looks like kind of a, a mean character. Yeah. Except I really like, like, I play a lot of fantasy games, and if I'm honest, the, the race that I always tend to lean towards is the lizards. Especially the two-headed ones, eh? Just uh, more relatable. Because <laughs> you're cold blood. <laughs> it stops at your door and pushes the bull and mug through a small opening into the cell and then shambles off to sit at a table across the hall. You've been given bread and broth. I want to eat. Do you know, right, for real, as soon as you started describing him, I was like, oh, this dude's going to help me. <laughs> but I, I guess whenever I play games, like fantasy games or whatever, like, I always pick evil, right? I don't, like... Whenever I play like games on PlayStation or whatever, and it's like one of those games like Fable, which is like a big grand adventure, and you could be like fully yeah. good or like literally a devil. My brother would always play those games first because he's older than me, and he'd play it good. So whenever I played it, I watched him play. So I don't yeah. want to play good because I've already seen it. So I went. Yes, yeah, well, so it, be became, it became ingrained in me in life. <laughs> the evil choice, right? Like always, and. As soon as I see a character that's like a lizard that's like all fucked up, I'll be like, oh, he's going to be like a quest giver. <laughs> he's going to help me. The people that I work for in those games. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what happens. The creature, the, the type of creature is a calicorn. I don't know what that is. A calicorn. A calicorn. I think they're just making these names up, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so you can either eat or drink or call out to this creature. So you can either take your food or shout out to the calicorn. Shout out to the calico or eat your food. Well, I mean, I know it's probably a bad shout, but I still want to believe I can work with this dude. So I'd like to shout to the, the, the calico. Let's do it. It's probably the worst choice there. 
I mean, I don't know how he, maybe maybe he's put something in my mashed potatoes. Well, that's it. You'll slip me you'll, nev- you'll never know because you're shouting out to him. Yeah. The, the creature. He's in my drink. I'm about to have a wild night. <laughs> The, cre- <laughs> the creature's not very talkative, but you do discover that you're in the dungeons beneath the Black Tower. And you will Whoa, probably yo, yo, be- yo, 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 we just got a fucking first class trip to the Black Tower. Damn, you we're did, already you don't know anything about the Black Tower because you didn't read the book. <laughs> uh, you're in the dungeons beneath the Black Tower and you'll probably never be released unless you're given to the Ganges for sport. When you question him about Balthus' diary, he goes silent, so you'd better try a spell to get you out of prison. I, I'd like to say to him, look, I'm a herbalist. I know all about Ganges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a spell? I don't... Right. Well, what are the choices? I really want him to be friends with me. You've got Fool's Gold, which you don't have, ESP, which you don't have, or Illusion. Which you do have, you've got two illusion spells. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. So if I didn't have any of those, would I be humped right now? I think so. <laughs> oh my god, right? I'll cast illusion then. You have to cast illusion, I think. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I've got I've got a thing where I can't I, I, I can't like take you into a parallel universe where, where you would find out what would happen if you didn't use the spells, but you do have the option not to use any spells. I, 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 uh, I do get the feeling that's probably the wrong choice. It says if you do not have any of these and then it gives you a choice to turn to so, Right, okay. So I think you need to use an illusion spell or oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm not gonna go over. Over. Let's do it. Let's absolutely Let's, do it. I mean, I'm not saying illusion is going to help you any, but... I think it will. I mean, of all those, I'll be honest, illusion seems the most promising. Like, what, what's reading his mind going to do? That's true. That's a fair point. We're, we're, we're casting an illusion spell. So that's you down to one illusion spell. And let's find out what's going to happen now. If it was me, I'd put a, a naked horny lizard in my cell so he has to get in the cell to get there. Uh, but you, I, I, I mean, your worst case scenario is you get lucky. You concentrate on your illusion. You can either convince him he's being attacked by an enemy or make yourself disappear and hope they'll come looking for you. Disappear. Disappear. Let's do this. He's got to unlock the cell. The, the first one doesn't let me unlock the cell. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, I'll let him be attacked. And it's like, well... <laughs> you ah, he runs off. You're like... <laughs> what the fuck does it matter? <laughs> you disappear. You can't, whoever, still watch the calicorn from your cell. To your consternation. See, the guy... The, the, I mean, the words here are amazing. You know what? Did he not notice? Well, no, 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 we're, we're not done yet. To your consternation, the beast has not noticed that you've gone. You wait patiently, but to no avail. And now you start what? to worry the spell will soon be wearing off. So you kick the dust at your feet, and a creature looks up and rushes over to the cell door where you're nowhere to be seen. It opens the door and enters the cell. But as it does, your spell begins to wear off. Try to trick me, eh? Says the calicorn as it grabs you. You're now going to have to fight the creature. Well, good. Fine. That was the plan anyway. So so the the, 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 the invisibility spell got him in. Uh, so, so, so let's do it, right? Yeah, let's fucking go. Two sleep. fights, wait, one wait. episode there. Eh? Wait, wait, wait. Do I have a sword, though? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the easiest answer that is. You just locked me up with my sword. <laughs> yeah, well, he probably wasn't expected to ever open the door. <laughs> well, don't lock a wizard up with his sword. He's got a skill of nine and a stamina of eight. So in terms of actual fighting skill, he's the closest closest to enemy you've had. So, yeah, so you, need to, you need to roll... You need to roll two better than him. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. This is a this this has been your biggest challenge yet. This is the closest it's ever been. So all I mean, the play for. Right, all the play for. We should get the we should get the music on. Bum, 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 bum. 
Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Heroes an eight. Boom, boom, you need to roll a six or more. Eight. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And you roll a 12. Boom, boom, so. boom. 12, get fucked. Boom, boom. Get fucked. You, get you, know, you, you only need to be that lucky three more times and you've won. Yeah, three more times. Okay, let's go. Let's play. You rolled a 10, so you need to roll an 8 or more. That could be tough. You rolled a 7. First blood. Oh. Does that mean he hits me? He hits you. No. Your stamina is 13. Exciting games. I don't know if it's exciting. It is exciting. I'm but but. I might die here. Hero, hero, heroes are two, so you've you you you've won that one. Yo, you only, you, you only need to happen two more times, but you've had your first, you've had your first injury. I feel like we should have probably made that no. more exciting than it was. I'd take a more damage than this. You you did beat it not in a fight. I wasn't not. You, you, oh, you, shit, you, well, it was it was a pre-fight. You get jabbed by the rhino before the fight started. Is this what pain feels like? Oh. You get jabbed. You did. You did get jabbed by the rhino, but it's because you were fucking around. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was fucking around. So that, to wasn't, that, that wasn't in combat. He just went, "Oh, <laughs> stab, get punctured." He just rolled a five, so you need to roll three or more, which you do that's easily. Right. You rolled a five as well. You only need to hit him one more time. Oh yeah, we're gonna split him. We're gonna tear him in half like a wishbone. Calicorms did not taste as good as Garxel, and you've already eaten. So I have already eaten. He just rolled an eight, so you need to roll a six or more. Oh, they're gonna have to glue. You only rolled a three. He's hit you again. He hit me again. Yep. Oh, this is personal now. Oh, it's gonna be a tough challenge. He just rolled an eleven. Oh, you need to roll a nine or what I told you. You've just rolled a six. He's hit you again. Your stamina's down to nine. Oh, my God. Oh, my you're, God. You're getting rattled, mate. You'll oh need to hit one more time. You'll need to hit one more time. He, he needs to hit you five more times. Okay. So just bear that in mind. He just rolled an 11 again. That's his... Oh, my God. <laughs> So you just showed an 11 too? Yo! You just killed the Calicorn. That Yo. was... That was... That was who knew that rolling a dice could be so tense? That was a big battle, and I would like to finish it in true style. I'd like to grab the Calicorn by its ankles, raise it over my head, and then swing it down hard onto a bench to break it in half. Right at the spine, just. Do you know what you like did? A broken that? banana. You did that because he's got two heads. So there's like one head on each half. <laughs> it just. Just kind of going in. It's dying words. I told you, told you not to mess with this guy. So oh you my god! The creature, oh, wait, how much you damage the did I take there, total? You got. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you got six in total damage. Oh my god, that's like a third of my total health. That was a that was a fight and a half. That was that was, rather, that was it was wild hairy or scaly, I suppose. You have managed to escape from the jail though, so that's something. Yo, we're at the jail now. We'll have the to get passageway the, twist. The, oh, sorry. I was just gonna say we'll have to get on the, the relief check now that we're out of the joint. You did. I mean, it was just lucky that you left the sword with you. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a dumb idea. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> you could have probably hacked at the door. Well, I suppose if all I'm wearing is a pair of trunks, I suppose I would have had the sword up my arse. So maybe they just didn't. Maybe you never even knew you had it. <laughs> the passageway twists and turns, eventually ending ending in a flight of stairs going upwards. You climb the stairs and find yourself in a short passage ending at a dead end. Ooh. As you examine the wall, you discover a short lever which you pull. The rock face ahead opens slightly and closes behind you as you walk through. You're now standing in front of a door which is locked. 
Okay. You can either try to break it down or cast a strength spell to smash it to bits. I'll just try and break it down. You would think so, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm not going to waste a spell on a door. As you hit the door, the wood cracks a little but does not give. You try it again and this time the wood splits down the middle. You break your way through the, to the room behind. You can't gamble in here. It's God's temple. Get out! I don't, Smash I, the doors then. I don't know why you would have wasted a spell on that. Yeah, it didn't even, it didn't even cost me <laughs> anything. It cost you nothing. What? If I use strength, I wonder what would happen. Maybe the whole bastard and thing would have exploded. Maybe, maybe it would have just been a shorter paragraph and it would take me less <laughs> time for you to get through the door. Yeah. The only thing I would have saved myself there is time. It's a bit late now for us to be starting to worry about time, isn't it? I suppose it's three minutes till till home time. You you now stand in a large round room. It's lit by a single torch fixed into one wall. There's no furniture in the room save for a rough wooden table and a chair in the centre. Hovering above the table fast asleep is a very small man dressed in a green shirt and pantaloons. Here he is. <laughs> Sorry, did you say he, he was green-skinned? He's green-skinned. Uh, uh. No, he's, he's not green-skinned. He's wearing a green shirt. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. What the fuck? Who's you cannot be more than a metre tall, and you cannot believe he's still asleep after your noisy entrance. <laughs> yeah, I smashed Maybe the that's what the stretch spell would have done. Maybe it would have woken him up. Oh, that's exactly what it would have It would have blew that door off his hinges, and it would have cracked him in the heat. Yeah. You hear a creak and turn to your right and tend to see a small catapult firing a missile of some sort straight at you. It's going to hit you unless you cast a shielding spell. So you can either cast a shielding spell, which you have, you've got one shielding spell, or you just roll with the punches. I would like to brace myself and not look at it. I'd like to look at him as I take it. Wait, hold on, what? That didn't come out right. <laughs> You try to dump <laughs> You cannot avoid the hedge. <laughs> I'd like to make eye contact with him. Oh, no. I, wanna, I, I don't want to look away from him as I take it. <laughs> I, want him to, I want him to know that I know who you I'm want him to know just to, how so the, I, that, that just seems like the wrong kind of stream that we're doing here. It's just kind of going, <laughs> don't break eye contact as you take it like a man. You tried to dump me, me like a log. <laughs> so just, I did not I mean, we'll probably need to start doing this. We'll probably need to start doing this one after nine o'clock if it continues to this route. Who's <laughs> what? And the erotic adventures of Harry Slaughter. <laughs> anyway, you try to duck, but you cannot avoid the full impact of the missile, which hits you in the forehead and splatters all over your face. That's me in the forehead. You brace yourself, waiting perhaps for an acidic reaction to take place, but the mushy liquid merely drips off your face onto the ground. Cautiously, you test it, first with your finger and then with your tongue. You've just been hit by a ripe tomato. You I'm so glad I didn't waste my fucking shield more. spell on a tomato. Exactly, yeah, that would have been quite embarrassing. A lot of the time, whenever you're casting these spells, it seems to be an absolute colossal waste of a spell. Except for the time that you ended the quest. Um, so yes, anyway. I think, we can I make a prediction? I think that this dude in front of me is a gnome. You think he's a gnome? Yeah. Well, we'll find out. But we might not find out this week. No, but that is my prediction. Because I think, I think, we're, get, I think we're getting to cliffhanger time again. I think we are. Cautiously, you approach the little man. As you get close, a single eye opens. <laughs> I like him already. He's cheeky. He's telly, and he looks you straight in the face. A wide grin spreads across the creature's ears, and then he disappears. Good morning to you, says a chirpy little voice behind you, and you swim all around to see him standing there still grinning. <laughs> Chris, I apologise, right? I apologise <laughs> for, <laughs> for what is going to become in my eyes. 
a fucking hate crime, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm O'Shaeus, the leprechaun. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think it is a gnome. I think it is a leprechaun now. <laughs> I'm O'Shaeus, the leprechaun. He chuckles <laughs> and holds his hand out to you. He seems friendly enough. Are you going to shake his hand and try to befriend him or draw your sword? Are you going to shake hands with, oh, Seamus? Or are you going to draw your sword? So, so since this is a choice and since we're using this new system, the idea is that I make the choice. You make um, the choice. You make the choice whether to shake his hand or attack him with a sword. Well, I mean, he, <laughs> he is a bit of a jester, I suppose. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, that, that prank was hardly fucking... It was hardly, like, aggressive. <laughs> it was just and a bit you did say you liked him? I did. I did say I liked him. And also, he, he I believe, has teleported. And as, as big and tough as Harry Slaughter is... Like teleportation is one of those things that no matter no matter what element of nature it is that encounters it, it's it's got to be weirded out by it, right? Yeah. And he's a big a big beast of nature. I think no, nah, I'm gonna try and be friends with the teleporter. I don't want that shit. It's like whenever you get the the Uruks, you know, trying to fight Gandalf and a big bolt of lightning comes down and half of them clear out. No, 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 no. Teleportation ain't natural. I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. So, so you're going to you're going to try and befriend O'Shea the Leprechaun next. He's week. from the same place as me, so why not? I feel like we're <laughs> top of the morning to you. <laughs> so, so if you do become his friend uh, and and he starts to join in your quest, right? There's going to be a lot more hate crime coming your way, Chris. That's okay. It's, you know, <laughs> I'm actually, it's one I'm thing actually, I do not mind. The only, the only genetic relations. I'm half Irish, so 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 it's kind of all right. You're cleared, but yeah. you, know, you know what? The only the only time I've ever been annoyed by anyone, anything anyone has done, is when I was in America. The, literally, I'd be like, I was like, oh, "Where are you from?" Which, like, oh, I'm from Ireland, and then just be me too. Every time, just yeah, I am as well. It's, no, 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 no. Five generations or six or ten generations ago, <laughs> your grandparents were Irish. You've been here for far too long to count. <laughs> if you can't That's get an Irish passport, I don't mind people doing impressions. That's, I think it's funny. <laughs> well, I apologize for my brain. I, I just I had no choice. I couldn't say hello there. You, you, hello, you, I'm, I, I'm O'Shaeus the Leprechaun. All right. No, O'Shaeus. You have my my blessing to do as many and as varied Irish impersonations as you can. In fact, as Thank many. You very much. I have to say that that, 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 that that I've already probably showcased my entire full <laughs> skill set in, yeah, in that regard. You very much shot your wad on the on the letter. <laughs> you know, I've got a week to practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be, I'll be, I'll be testing you. You'll be talking, and I'll go cork, and suddenly you'll speak with a cork accent, and then I'll be like Belfast, and then you'll be talking like you're from fucking Belfast. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if if I start talking to you at the beginning of next week in a Belfast accent, you know you made the wrong choice, and you should have attacked him. <laughs> Uh, and I don't mean that as a kind of slight on anyone from Belfast. I just mean that he's going to sound naturally more aggressive. That oh, was man, not a fucking, slight. Do you know what's really funny to hear the squeak of the chains every time you backpedal? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm worried. I, 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 why are you worried? I, I don't imagine. I don't imagine that any of our like one viewer is going to be. <laughs> imagine. Also, I've already given you permission, and I'm from well, not from, but I used to live in Belfast. I'm yeah, from around there. That's absolutely right. I'm not overly <laughs> worried that it's Ian Paisley watching. Ian, yeah, which one? The old ones. The old ones near fucking deep now. I think the old one is dead, isn't it? Oh, he is dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in my head, I because 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 Junior's quite old. In my head, I'd made him the old one. <laughs> he is getting on. 
Absolutely. Anyway, like, before, before we go down, before we go down our route, then we might have to start using the editing tool on this. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure again, Chris. Yeah. I was actually it's genuinely worried for a while that this was going to be the last episode. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it was never going to be the last episode. But I just started a new quest next week. But but you you've survived another week. That's know, it. Episode one. four, mate. Well done. We'll see yeah, you next almost... week as you as you try to befriend a leprechaun. It's going to be you fun. You mad bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, man. See you soon. Bye. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.